Welcome back you two to our maths lesson. We're going to continue with looking at length. So let's quickly recap last lesson with our centimetres. So one centimetre is the same as 10 millimetres. So here's one centimetre on our ruler. Now let's take a look at the task I gave you in the last lesson. How did you all do? Our answer to question one is nine centimetres. Question two, three centimetres. Question three, five centimetres. Question four, 15 centimetres. And question five is 14 centimetres. Now we're going to take a look at measuring in metres. A metre stick is 100 centimetres. So a metre stick measures one metre and shows only metric units of measurement, which are millimetres and centimetres. Metre sticks are used to measure objects that are larger than a piece of paper. Remember that you can use centimetres and millimetres if the object is smaller than a piece of paper. Metres are used to measure everything between things in rooms, most household objects such as tables, rooms, windows and many more things would be measured by metres. Even things as big as a whale are measured by metres. So what are some other things that could be measured in metres? Let's have a think. A table. A bed. house or apartment, so we could see the size, a car, trees, large animals just like the whale, even ourselves. So let's take a look at this. Is the sofa measured by centimetres or metres? Metres. How about the table? Meters. What about your phone? Centimeters. How about a book? Centimeters again. A chair. By meters. Now let's take a look at this worksheet. We have a table, pencil, a room, and a coin. One is four meters, one is one meter twenty centimeters, the other is two centimeters and the other is 15 centimetres. Now we need to match them, so which size would be the table? 1 metre 20. How about the pencil? 15 centimetres. How about the room? Is it 4 metres or 2 centimetres? How about the coin? 2 centimetres. And let's take a look at this. Which would be centimetres and which would be metres? So we have a teddy bear. Would we measure it in metres or centimetres? Centimetres. How about the house? Metres. What about a giraffe? Metres. An aeroplane? Metres. A tree? Metres. What about the sock? Centimetres. A pineapple? Centimetres, a space rocket, metres, and a bottle, centimetres. So let's do the same with these objects. The first one's been done for us. The aeroplane is measured in metres, the banana in centimetres. How about the car? Metres. The fish? Centimetres. A house again, do you remember? Meters, a paintbrush, centimeters, a pencil, centimeters, a chair, meters, and a shoe, centimeters. How about a train? Meters. And we looked at this really big one. The whale is in a meter. How about Big Ben? In meters. Now check out the size of a few of these famous monuments. Big Ben, many of you might have seen it on the BICC roundabout. Big Ben is in London. 
It's 96 meters tall. We have the Lean in Tower of Pisa at 54. And then we have the Sufosein Tower in Germany at 27 meters tall. Now check out the largest tree in the world is the Hyperion from California at 115 meters tall. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty and Big Ben. Now I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you've learned many new things and I hope metres and centimetres and millimetres are becoming much more clear to you now. We will continue looking at measurement in our next lesson. Until then, take care and I'll see you soon, year two.